familiar voice to many of you, and he's on a mission to change lives. 93Q's Kevin Klein is bringing awareness and raising funds for childhood cancer in an extraordinary way. Starting day three today of his planned 300 mile delivering hope run along the icy Dalton Highway in Alaska. It's known as the most dangerous road in North America. He's been fighting a wind chill of close to negative 30 below zero. It's even been hard for him to eat because he can't take off that frozen mask. He's I thought this was a brilliant piece because it started us right in the thick of it. And then we got to work backwards to see how this journey began and get to know um, the individual before and after meeting Chelsea. And I think that was extremely impactful for me and just seeing what the motivation of being open and touched by another human being's journey can do really for your own trajectory in life and, and what good and um, what good and what hope you can spread. I thought it was really well crafted, really great pacing. Um, it felt very honest and all of the interviewees seemed at ease and very willing to talk. And I feel like that makes or breaks a documentary is whether it seems too staged, whether their interviewees are a little uneasy. And I got none of that. I just got all of the heart and the impact that this, this journey has been on all of them. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really brilliantly crafted and really important. An emotionally rich and heartfelt documentary. Um, the story in the beginning uh, really, it captivates you hearing about Chelsea's story and the sad, harsh reality of cancer when it comes to children and this documentary does a really good job of making you root for the team you want them to succeed and I found it beautiful that in the light of potential failure they looked at it and went no especially because while they were focusing on the isolation that cancer brings, I feel this run made them realize in reality, it's not the isolation we should be focusing on, but the community and the help and the support uh, and the love that all these children have. Uh, because even when you're at your lowest and even when you feel like you're alone you're not alone and i feel like that was a, so much more of a beautiful message to portray by the entire crew deciding to work together and do the run together it was a very beautiful message and it was a very beautiful documentary the cinematography obviously was just spellbinding all of what they did was just absolutely amazing. But getting the opportunity to meet Chelsea, to hear about who she was from all of these people who loved her, to hear about how she was diagnosed, to hear how her and Kevin met was so lovely. I felt like I knew her. There was an instantaneous connection. The way that they started this, the story of all of this just draws you in. And the Snowdrop Foundation, how they decided to start that and what that was going to be about and how they were going to raise money was just incredible and amazing. I loved all of the interviews. I think that it was great that you had the filmmakers getting interviewed with this too, made it even more personal. The whole story about um, pediatric cancer, it was obvious that it was very, very personal for the filmmakers too, not just for, for Kevin and how his life had completely changed and, and from all of these kids, not just Chelsea, but all of these ki kids who are facing cancer. 
it, it's just amazing what they were able to do. I loved the fact that they went to Alaska and that they did this. And that was so incredibly ambitious. Cinematography, getting the Northern Lights was stunning. The, the sunrise shots and just being able to go on this journey with Kevin, with all of the filmmakers and with his running crew was very special. All the way through, I thought that this was a really well told, uh, really inspiring story. Uh, it was a whole bunch of things at once, very interesting, but also moving, uh, funny, very tense at times as well. Uh, I thought that the beginning and the end of the film uh, did a good job of kind of bookending the entire piece emotionally. Uh, it kind of ends where it began, uh, you know, talking about Chelsea and about uh, what inspired. Uh, you know, the other uh, subjects in the film to, to go ahead and do this. Uh, it was a very fitting and a very fitting structure. And it was also quite powerful uh, outside of the emotional and story uh, aspects of the film. I thought the visuals here were fantastic. Uh, the Alaskan landscape, uh, you know, everyone knows that it's, uh, you know, spectacular, but I think the film does a really good job of capturing and conveying that. Uh, and then the subjects here, they're all very watchable, very interesting in their own kind of way. Uh, and they hold the film together very nicely, too. They kind of uh, present the emotions of the film and elaborate on that aspect of it in a way that feels more personal. Uh, instead of just being a, a retelling of the events and what inspired them to do this, you kind of get to see uh, their take on it and how, they, uh, how they're dealing with this, uh, this loss and how they're uh, moving forward from that and doing something to carry on Chelsea's legacy. So uh, I thought that this was really, really well done. It was very interesting how you saw the uh, evolution of this, of, of, of Kevin, how everything kind of started off uh, with him wanting to be successful to prove something to his father and, you know, his father having no motivation to live never got to see his success before him taking his own life and him also idly kind of going through life with that same lack of purpose until he meets Chelsea. So he meets Chelsea and meeting her changed her, his life. You know, he's, uh, finds out that she has cancer and then becomes a very integral, uh, figure in her life through her, through her, um, diagnosis and her treatment and everything like that. And uh, you can really see how how she has laid the foundation for what becomes his life, skull, and work. And he wanted her to live on forever through a foundation, which she created in her honor. And it all became about fundraising and then running. And so you got to see how that 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 uh, formed. And then they wanted to kind of culminate everything through doing a run that represents what um, these kids go through in their cancer. Um, and I think that him picking this location and this ordeal to go through was a very good um, indication of what someone goes through dealing with cancer and then with how they feel coming out at the end of completing their treatment and being in remission. It, it takes a village to get you through it. And so it, it almost was perfect how it ended up, even though it wasn't what he envisioned in his mind, he envisioned kind of being the solo runner of it all, having the support of, you know, Scott there with him throughout the run to, 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 um, help motivate him, the, the, the support of his team, motivating him mentally, and also the support of his team, motivating him physically. I think that that ends up being just a stronger message overall. And, you know, I was happy to see that they were able to achieve their goal. It was a really beautiful, moving, and inspirational, uh, documentary. I loved the storytelling it really hooked me at the beginning um i generally felt sadness um as the story unfolded at certain points i was very invested in the in all the characters and all the players and i think it was such a such a well-told documentary really inspiring absolutely beautiful descriptions um i found myself close to tears many times and overall i think it's a really really great documentary and would highly recommend it 
inspiration and motivational story, heart wrenching at the same time, uh, really well produced and put together. Uh, the way all the different elements and people involved in this story are layered in, um, and, and the way it's all put together, it just has a really solid structure uh, and an almost cinematic quality to it. Um, and it's just super compelling because it's just real life and real people and uh, just remarkable story. Um, all in all, this one was just really well done. Um, again, thoroughly compelling. I really enjoyed this one.